Hello. How you doing? Good. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Oh, so warm. Britain right now is currently in the midst of an incredible heat wave, and I am not a fan of the hot weather. I'm shiny. I'm warm. It's too hot. I've even resorted to wearing shorts. I never wear shorts. Look, shorts. Actual shorts. My little skinny pale legs for the world to see. I'm not okay with that. So in this vlog, I want to tell you something about something else that is not a vlog. It is an audio thing that I've made, and it's this. Jinxing the Broom. So Jinxing the Broom is a podcast that I have started, and episode zero is up now. I'll explain why it's called episode zero in just a moment. But what is the podcast? What is Jinxing the Broom? Jinxing the Broom, as it says right here, is alternative audio commentaries. So you know how when you buy a film, you can listen to the director's commentary track or an alternative audio commentary track, which is either the director and some actors or producers or whatever, and as they watch the film with you, you can listen to them talking about it, and it's kind of interesting because you can, you can hear about stuff that happened when you weren't there, things that weren't filmed, ideas behind things. It's kind of a good time if you're really bored and want to watch the same film again, but a different audio commentary. However, quite a popular thing to do online, on YouTube and podcasts and Patreon and all that sort of stuff, is to uh, provide an alternative audio commentary track. So what you do is you download the episode on your podcast app, whatever it might be, and you and the people making the podcast hit play at the same time on the film, and you listen to them talking about the film. And that's what I've done. I've started a podcast of alternative audio commentary tracks for magic-based films with real-life magicians. It's a podcast format that literally no one asked for. First episode is on uh, Apple Podcasts and it's on SoundCloud right now. The links for both of those are in the description below. The first episode is episode zero and I'm calling it episode zero because it's, it's not perfect. You know, we're very obviously uh, eating crisps and uh, Oreo thins in the background. Sounds a bit echoey. We could be close to the microphone. We kind of keep forgetting the name of actors. There's little pauses sometimes where we're like, what's going on? Also, we recorded this after a show. So it was about midnight when we started. By the time we finished, it was about 2 a.m. We had another two shows the next day. But we were really tired. Also, towards the end, the last 10 minutes of the film, the um, Wi-Fi cut out and then we had to rewind a bit and, and play it, but it's fine. So episode zero is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and that's because we were in America. If you're in the rest of the world, it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And I recorded this episode, episode zero, with a really good friend of mine and fellow champion of magic, uh, Kayla Drescher, who is also a super nerd when it comes to Harry Potter. And I don't really know much about Harry Potter. Also, I find the first film, The Philosopher's Slash Sorcerer's Stone, quite excruciating to watch. But it's fun to listen to, and we give you little insights into what it's really like to be a magician and how it compares if that sort of thing interests you. The obvious films that we'll do in the future are Now You See Me and Now You See Me Too, which I'm still annoyed isn't called Now You Don't. Other Harry Potters, uh, there's Doctor Strange, that counts as a magic film. Uh, what other magic films are there? Oh, there's a brilliant horror film, Anthony Hopkins film from the 70s called uh, Magic. It's very really good, about a ventriloquist dummy and a split personality disorder magician. Very good. I don't just have to do movies, some of them might be TV shows. There's an episode of Monk, which features the magician. There is an episode of The Mentalist. There's probably an episode, from what I remember, there's an episode of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, which has a magician. Yeah, I think I'd like to do that one. Also, if you've got any suggestions of films, then please feel free to leave them in the comments here, or tweet me, or Facebook message me, or if you see me in the street, just yell it at me. Hey, why don't you do Doctor Strange next? That's a magic film, right? You could do that one. Okay, cool. And making this podcast was fun. It was a good fun thing to do. Watch a movie, get to hang out with a friend, knit a natter, be slightly sarcastic. I get to do my silly impressions and voices that I apparently do all the time. Do you know, it's excruciating listening to your own voice. You're listening to my voice right now and looking at my face and I, I can only apologise. Because obviously to make these videos, to make this podcast, I had to listen to myself. And... I, I was talking all kind of slowly. And I keep doing voices, I keep doing impressions of people like Dumbledore or Maggie Smith. I found it quite irritating. So, you know, in episode one, I'm going to tone that down. Episode zero, you know, we were just exhausted from having done two shows that day and then about to do two shows more the next day. Like, these are excuses, but I'm sticking with them. Okay?
And I love listening to these alternative audio commentary tracks. Uh, you can listen to them if you've got a long flight or a long journey on a bus or a coach or a train or a plane. Uh, you download the podcast with the alternative commentary track, you download the film on your laptop, watch play and you get a whole new experience of that film. It's also fun to listen to them just as a podcast in itself. So now I'm going to play you a little excerpt at the end of this video, about 20 minutes, of the first episode of Jinxing the Broom. It's from about an hour and a half in. It's when we're watching the uh, Quidditch match that happens in that film. And I very clearly know nothing about Quidditch. But what's interesting about this excerpt is it's where we came up with the name Jinxing the Broom. When we started recording, the podcast just had no name. It was just this idea I had I texted Drescher to say, Hey, I've got this idea for a podcast. Should we do it? And she went, yes, I've got a microphone. Boom! So we just started recording it, and about an hour and a half into it, we came up with the name Jinxing the Broom. You can listen to it, you can find out why. And if you like the sound of it, if you like the sound of us mumbling over the top of a well-respected and popular film uh, while we're eating Oreo thins and chips and dip, then maybe you'll enjoy the full podcast, which, as I've said already, is available on iTunes podcasts and on SoundCloud, completely for free. Enjoy! Look at Harry. He's a natural athlete. Thanks for just randomly hitting a thing. How... This is also just comparing the Harry Potter world to real magicians, because I think that's a viable comparison. That's true. So they, we also know good at sports. No one could play the sport. We would... Everyone would die. There's just no hope. That's true. One, oh, was, if we were trying to play Quidditch. Right. Yes. There so was we a, a master flight, which involves... Oh, I yeah. think there's no spoiler alerts here. Lot, large amounts of equipment that the audience can't <laughs> see. So right. it wouldn't be practical. And strength. Because if it were, why has no one done that? Does that happen in the Harry Potter play? Do they play Quidditch around on stage? Uh, they don't, but there is a fight between Draco and Harry where they kind of fly around the stage a bit, which is really cool. Oh. But it's all done with... Shadow I puppets. I won't say... C code it to me so the magicians understand. Heart. Oh. Was that code? I'll beat that out. And everyone be like, what did yes, you please. say? Yep. No, because that's something you can Google and find out everything about. Yeah, that's true. We'll just, just beep it. Okay. <laughs> we'll I wonder when that beep was. Beep. Black up. Uh, <laughs> you have to bleep it now. No, twice. Stop. Oh, no. It's annoying <laughs> See, to listen to. See, there he is. Who, um, he? What do you mean? That the dwarf you didn't think. Oh, I see. Um, had good makeup. It doesn't. It's really rough. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he melted? So He's in later ones as well, because... Yes. But the makeup's better. Well, there's a, there's a different one as well, a different, shorter person. Shorter person. Well, this, cause this is Warwick Davis. He's a famous yes. little person actor. Yes. The other one must be Van Troy, I think. Yeah, but he... No, he's hook. the... Great, he's Grip Hook. Is Grip Hook the guy we saw at the bank? No. Oh. Grip Hook comes later. Hmm. Yo, sir. Because Warwick Davis is essentially, if you need a little actor, he's it's the go to. Yep. And British. Like Willow, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, Harry he's Potter. in everything, right? Solo, Star Wars story. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Creek. Star Wars. Other stuff where he's basically playing himself. Star Wars. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> what is uh, Star Wars about? What is Star Wars about? It's about a war between uh, celebrities. Oh, cool. See, Hermione's really good at magic. She is. This is what? Oh, my goodness. I don't like that kid, does he? No, he blows things up. So if we were... So Wingardium at Leviosa, that is the flight spell. I do yeah, it, goes, it just levitates. I see. Yeah. Oh, Ron, don't be a good friend. Come on now. Wait, if you're going to talk about other people, look behind oh, you. she's so sad. Oh, she's sad, and now you have to go rescue her, rescue her from a troll. She's got close to the same hairdress as Hagrid, as you can see. <laughs> shot there. Oh, time is moving it, on. It's Halloween. I've only just realized we're moving through time, because currently I thought we were on day four or something. <laughs> Does feel that I way, I see. Huh? This has been almost a whole year. It, uh, what? It's been Harry two Potter months. Is a Halloween. I, why? I'm not, I'm not being so given a good you, sense of time. I don't know on. if you know this, but Halloween is in October. Yes, October. Okay. Yes. And school starts in September. Oh. Like most school. I didn't get that. Uh, I suppose okay. that makes sense. 
this podcast is both fun and educational. And educational. Oh. What's he saying? Troll in the dungeon. Oh, there's a troll in the dungeon. Just what am I going to do? There's a troll in the dungeon. What <laughs> am I going to do? Me going to fade to the floor. Is that a real song? Have you never heard that? No. There's a rat in the kitchen. What am I going to do? Oh, it's a fun song. There's a lot of things that I know that you don't. Okay. Are you saying that there's a lot of things that I don't know that I know? Yeah, that's the opposite of what I just said. You know, it's sort of flipped around. Yeah. I think there's also a lot of things I know that you don't. Calm down. It's only a bloody troll. Oh, Smith's on on it. Alan Rickman, looking scared. Come on now, Alan. I'm off. Nice. (laughs) Shoot the glass. Please also, tell me you understand what I'm referring to there. Nope. Oh, uh, really? Nope. Have I, you not seen Die Hard? Nope. <sighs> this is. I'm sorry, I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> and I get. I mean, Die Hard's okay, but it's Alan Rickman's first film. It's amazing. It's only good because of Alan Rickman. Otherwise, it's Wait, just Wait, he did other films besides Harry Potter. Ah, uh, cultured swine. <laughs> I really enjoy making you upset with the amount of <laughs> movies I have not yet seen. Oh, this is a troll. I don't remember this bit at all. Oh, is this going to have that Moaning Myrtle? No. She, she that's a different bathroom. Oh. oh, hello. I do not remember this bit at Look all. Look at that. Hello. Lifelike troll. No. Oh, my God. He's so No more trolls good. in any of the other films, I assume. Correct. Or any well, they don't live books. there. Where does it come from then? Quirrell l- let him in. He brought oh. him and let him in as a distraction to try to oh, go get the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh. Spoiler alert. <sighs> he is wrecking that bathroom. Yeah, just throw a bit of wood in, mate. That's going to do something, isn't it? They're 11. They, don't they are wizards. Get a responsible adult with actual magic powers. Because they, they've they learned one spell. <laughs> Uh, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what they're about to use, yeah. actually. Oh, God. Dun, 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 dun. There he goes. So There's... brave, that Harry Potter boy. He... Oh, that's bad CGI right there. <laughs> oh, it's... Keep it moving Gross so part. we can't see it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I closed my eyes. Yeah. I didn't want to look at it. Surely that troll is dead now. No, it's just got... It's just like doing blockhead. I see, it's just doing <laughs> blockhead. Yeah, this we go. You've seen an actual magic trick that is repeatable at this. Right. Supply. Is blockhead. Where you put a nail up your nose. You've done that? Done what? Have blockhead. you done that? Blockhead. Put the nail in the nose, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I didn't like it, taught it. I just sort of do how it worked and tried it on my own in a room. Terrible and would idea. would you ever do it again? No. Yeah. No, <laughs> see, he should be dead now. Why? It's not it's further up his nose. Up his nose. But he's a giant. So that giant, that long wand oh, to see, us dead would now. be dead. That's no. gone into his brain. He fell on the side. On the Did side. He, are we about to get ill? He's all right, kids. Don't worry. Well, he's still alive. These three children are not murderers. Correct. Of, I assume, endangered species. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think they're endangered. Trolls? No. Uh, when's the last time you saw one? Um... Five minutes ago. <laughs> in this documentary. In this documentary. Oh, he's sort of alive. Oh. Oh. I'm, I closed much. my eyes again so I can eat these Oreos. Do you know what kids love? love oh, thank God, you, a grown-ups have arrived. I think you would have been, they would have been a little bit quicker. Could you speak more with your mouth wide or every time you speak to Hermione? <laughs> Apparently you can. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think she's also doing a voice, isn't she? She seems to speak less. She's got quite a, a well-spoken voice in real life. Right. Well, also she's older now, so. Yes. <laughs> that's helpful. Uh, I've never heard her speak. Her as voice has dropped. So. That right. To a lady. And she has a yeah. smaller mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she grew into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's. That's accurate. It's just her mouth was, has always been able to open <laughs> very widely, very wide. and she just grew into it. That makes sense. That's how I feel about my feet. It's a mountain troll. Right. It comes from the mountain. Right. 
Oh, they got points. Oh, they get points. Yeah. Because this is how actual schools work. You get, like, smiley face, sad face. Right. Points. Right. Good behaviour, bad behaviour. Yeah. Except at, at the end of normal school, it's like you individually get a prize as opposed to your entire house, even though if your well, house maybe, is done I think nothing. maybe the classes do just get a prize. Oh, do they? That's fun. A little class competition. Is that what happens at Jack-Jack school? No. Oh. It is old school, which we didn't yeah, like. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Harry. Potter. <laughs> they're Harry... very different, though, aren't they? Yeah. Does Harry know he needs to carb up before sports? To what up? Carb up. Carb up. Oh, I'm sorry. You're... It's an athletic term. Most magicians yes. don't know. Yes, Harry. Athletic I think he terms. might be limping. Because he, you saw a massive cut on his <laughs> leg. Jesus. Uh, I forgot this is essentially a crime procedural drama this right, film. Right, right. As well as it's like an episode of any crime show where they follow this one lead. And it's wrong. It's wrong, the but then the time. truth comes out. Right, always. <laughs> Usually in crime dramas it's a little less presentational. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Aww. Far fewer owls. Ba, 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 ba. It's the super yeah. thing 2000. Okay. Is it wrapped up? Oh, well, what would it yes. be? <laughs> <laughs> I it's a new they skateboard. Did, they did literally go, <laughs> I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a vacuum cleaner, Harry. The new <laughs> Dyson. <laughs> the new, that is the shape of a Dyson, is, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Did they just take a picture there? It did look like a still <laughs> photograph, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. But one of the, it was kind of like a, one of those bad cuts that you can make an eye movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you also don't see a bunch of these actors ever again either. It's true. Yes, they all get replaced actually quite yeah. quickly. And it became a hit. So this is all very medieval looking now. Right. So it's Quidditch. He's a tiny child among... Sort of teenagers, isn't he? Right. Because he's 11 and they're all... all... But he's super good because he caught a ball? Right. Okay. Yep. Good. But his dad was a seeker, so it runs in the family. I see. Like how my mom did a lot of martial arts. So in theory, I should be able to beat anybody up. I see. You That's know what I... how it works. You know what I can't do? What? Martial arts. Yeah. You <laughs> can't even touch your toes or something. That was what you showed me yesterday. I can't well, touch my toes. Imagining that hundreds of people are listening to this. You <laughs> just literally told dozens. So many. That you can't touch your toes. Yeah. I mean, I... I... <laughs> I'm going to work on it. These just... Things they're standing on look very unsafe. Right. Also, fun fact, in... Uh, this uh, shot coming up, mm -hmm. there is an actor who I think she might go uncredited. Uh, you can look on the uncredited list. It's very long on IMDb. Well worth looking at. Yep. Uh, it, might be, it might be worth it the, all the time. You might find... Uh, nope, I lost the joke. Uh, good. So this good about to, we're about to see someone. We're about to see someone who is uh, was a pro on Dancing with the Stars. What else has she to, done to be a star? Oh, she was a pro, so she was one of the she was a, dancers. Yes, she was a dancer. Got you. Yes. She was one of the stars. Yes, but now but she... But she is a trained dancer, do singer, anything. actor, actress. Yes, she now is trying to be an actor and a singer. Cool. It's not going well. Yeah. But her brother is now, uh, as well as he was a dancer, and he now uh, judges a dance show with Neo and J-Lo. Neo? Neo. Neo. You know what? I don't really know how to properly answer that question. I see. Outside I do think I know who that would be. The show. He saved the universe in the Matrix. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> and there is a, some sort of singer. Yes. And also. A popular hit parade. Fun fact. Uh -huh. Haven't seen the Matrix. Good Lord. But I so have seen the second one. how many times have you watched one? this film? Can you give me a time <laughs> span? <laughs> since, since it came out in oh. 2001. Uh, probably Guess what the 150. Is, yeah, so you could have spent that time watching other mm. important films on the list. But I enjoy comfort. Okay. I don't like new things. I don't like new people. 
<laughs> so what is going on? They have to throw it through the hole. Okay, so the... But the balls are alive. Well, not that magically one. possessed. Not the quaffle. The quaffle right, is just a large dead weight. Sort of um, medicine ball looking thing. Yeah. Right. Yep. So the quaffle gets thrown... I see now where all the special effects budget was going. They were saving us for the section <laughs> of the Quidditch. Film. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. Except no, that, it that looks right okay. there. That, though, there was Julianne Huff. Difficult. Um, so the quaffle has to go through one of the three hoops, mm-hmm. much like a, like a golf or pool or something. You're like a, or I see. Any, any sort of net sport soccer. Yeah, put the ball in this thing. Yeah. It is uh, most games. I realized as well that I named two things that weren't really sports, like pool. Yeah, pool and golf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the it would be like soccer, but there are three goals, and you have a goalie. And then you have other things that can distract you. So the bludgers will kill people. And That's so, a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. What are the bludgers? Are those those two other things that were flying around that yeah, Harry hit the, earlier? Right. And then... And the little floaty, goldy thing with wings. Correct. Which is a snitch. Uh-huh. Yes. Good job. What does that do? So that flies around, kind of on its own, and then it is the seeker's job to catch the snitch. Right. When you catch the snitch, whoever, whatever team gets it gets 150 points. I see. That's because snitches And then the game is stitches. over. Am I thinking of prison? Okay. Sorry. No. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. So just like... A lot of British games, it's a little bit too complicated. Correct. Because this sounds like, you know when you have someone sits you down for a card game and they start explaining it to you <laughs> and you're like, maybe I'll have to play it yeah, to understand a, what the hell's going on. It's a game of bridge. Yeah. No one knows how no to play. No one knows how to play it. Maybe J.K. Rowling is... Yeah. Jonathan K. Rowling is the only person that knows how. Why game. do you assume it's a man? Hermione looked like uh, a minion then with those, oh. <laughs> those um, uh, binoculars. Oh, Snape. Snape. Jinxing so, the broom. Surely there's going to be a band called Jinxing the Broom. Just place Harry Potter covers. I mean, you're the one looking there things we, up. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to look up Jinxing the Broom. If there isn't. Because the Jinx one, is a famous magic magazine, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Jinx, uh, sorry, carry on. If that isn't already a band, we should make it. We should. Or that is the title of this podcast. <gasps> Jinxing the Broom. Yes. We found the title <laughs> we did of the it. untitled. We recorded almost so an all... entire episode without knowing. <laughs> so they're all going to be called Jinxing the Broom. Yep. Brilliant. Which doesn't tell you anything about the podcast. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't matter what you call something. <laughs> Jinxing the Broom. Long uh, hyphen. Hyphen? Yeah. Just in between yeah, and then things, it says, things, dash, the dash room. Magician's broom. audio commentary that no one asked for. <laughs> it's very warm here in Britain right now. <sighs> Isn't it? Mycroft. 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 Hi. You a bit warm? You a bit warm? Yeah, me too. So warm. I miss air conditioning. Uh.